Hey everyone, how's it going? Sam here. In this video, I want to show you how you can set up your own Gaussian splatting scenes inside of React Fiber using Dre components. I thought Gaussian splatting was a really awesome technology, and now that it's arrived in React Fiber, I'm going to show you how you can film your own splats. I'm going to be doing it in my sitting room, and how you can convert that to a dot splat file, which is usable in the uh, splat Dre component. Let's get started. So to kick things off, I'm going to show how you can get your splat file. Here I'm using Luma, Luma app, and sign in, create an account, whatever. Click that. And then basically you want to position your phone and yeah, just click that. And then you want to go to the other side, click again, and it makes a box. You need to move it uh, onto whatever you're trying to capture. And then you're going to get three rings uh, that you need to uh, take pictures of and basically move your phone around all the different things there you go at different angles and you can see it's moving along there so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and try that out so once you finish doing the three rings it'll take a while to uh, load up and stuff but you end up with this animation that goes on so that's pretty cool i filmed this before um there you go and then what you want to do is click that button and here you're going to click splat um, proceed and then you're going to airdrop it or send it to your computer and this is going to be a .ply file and we need to convert it to splat which we're going to do next so here you can see I've got my .ply file and we have to convert it to a .splat uh, for this to work because that's what um, the Dre component accepts. So to do that, um, I'm going to create an account on Hugging Face. This will allow us to upload it and have a URL to access it. And then I'm going to create a new data set. Um, do that, create a data set. Once you create your data set, go into files and versions and then upload files. And then you can just drag and drop, PLY, blah, 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 commit changes. So this is uploading. It's going to take a while. And so in the meantime, um, so I'm going to head to, to convert the PLY to splat, I'm going to go to this repository here, gssplat.js, and down here in the FAQ, alternatively, convert PLY files from URL in this JS fiddle example. So this is the example. You're going to want to change this URL here to your file you just uploaded. So to get this URL, you can hover this download button, right click it, copy link address, paste it, and just remove the download true. And then here you can rename the file to whatever you want, dot splat. And then you basically click run. It'll load up the PLY file, start converting it. And then it'll download the dot splat for you. Doom, there we go. And you can actually use it uh, in here. Very cool. So then you can head over here. I'm going to. Uh, oh no, you can't drag and drop. Um, upload a file, dot splat, boom, upload. Great, so now we've got a dot splat file. Go ahead, copy that link, save it for later on. So we've got all we need. Now you can head into your VS Code. Um, there you go. Let's just change the theme for your eyes. And 
it's pretty basic. Uh, you don't need a lot of code. All you need is the latest uh, versions of Dre, um, React Free Fiber, and through JS installed. And what you're going to want to do is uh, import splat and then create a splat component. It's SRC, link to your dot splat without the download and position it. Save that. Um, and as you can see, all you need to do is have a splat component and boom, you have got your splatted image. Um, you've got some orbit controls uh, so you can fly around. And yeah, this is my sitting room. Uh, drying, washing included. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I focused on the uh, Xbox controller, so that's the most detailed. And um, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Um, if you take the time to do uh, better splats, I'm sure you can get an even better quality image. Um, but yeah, it's became so much simpler with the Dre components because you can just create splat and uh, drop an SRC and that's it. So yeah, I hope that helped you out. I hope, um, yeah, uh, you get some good results with it and uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Cheers.